Erev, Shabbos, Kodesh, Parshas, Pinchas, Pinchas, Ben Elazar, Ben Aaron HaKohen. Pinchas was a grandson of the famous Kohen Gadol, the brother of Moshe, Aaron HaKohen. And boy, were they different. Aaron was the epitome, the model of tolerance, and Pinchas in our history is the model of intolerance. Aaron was the model of patience, and Pinchas seems to be impatient, jumping. How could it be that Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron Hakohen? And the answer is that Pinchas and Aaron were exactly the same, but the situations were different, the generations were different. One can't compare the time of Pinchas, the circumstance of Pinchas, to the time and the circumstance of Aaron. Why were they the same? Because they were both completely selfless, they were both completely without ego, and they were both completely l'shem shemaim. And on this, the Mishnah says, echod hamarbe ve'echod hamamit, whether you do it this way, whether you do it that way, every leader has a different challenge, umilvad, the only thing is, techaven l'shem shemaim. You must be sincere. You must be in it for the right reason. You have to know what you're doing. You have to have a lot of Torah behind you. But every circumstance is completely different for us. What we need to think before we respond is why are we responding the way we are? Is this correct? Is it coming from the right place? If we get angry, if we're tolerant, is it because we're doing the right thing or is it some deep personal need within us which is making us respond you want to know something that comes out all wrong when you're l'shem shemayim 100 percent for the sake of heaven for the sake of what's right hashem helps and somehow it comes out right this is the wonderful important lesson of both pinchas and both Aaron. And who is a true leader in Israel? And what is the criterion for leadership? It's not charisma, it's not brains, it's not anything, it's not energy. It's simply one thing. Is my ego out of the picture? And are my in it for the right purpose? L'shem Shemayim. Shabbat Shalom, Umi